everyone. Good evening. How are you doing? This is Real Talk with Kasika. I am your host, Kasika Brown. It's so good to have you in tonight. It is the praise break session. So come on in the room and let's get our praise on. Let's give God all the glory, all the praise because he is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. He is so good. He is good in your life. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter what situation you may be facing, but God is good. God is so good. He is so good. Declare it with me on tonight. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining Sister Cynthia. God is so good. I thank you, Lord, because you are good. You are always good. And I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy that endures forever. Hallelujah, Lord. I give you the highest praise. I give you all the glory on tonight, Lord, because you are good. It doesn't matter what I'm facing. It doesn't matter what my situation or my circumstance is. But you, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. I thank you, Lord. You're still good. You're always good. You are better than good. You are gooder than good. Lord, you are the best. Lord, you are the greatest. And I thank you, Lord. Lord, I celebrate you on tonight because you are so good. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Thank you, Jesus, because you are good. I don't care what situation I may be facing on tonight, God, but you are good. Thank you so much for joining on tonight. Hi, Cynthia. Move your furniture out the way and jump with me tonight. Let's praise the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, you are good. You are always good, Lord. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah, Lord. You are so good. Thank you, Jesus. You are good, Lord. I bless you on tonight. Lord, it doesn't matter what my situation or my circumstances, God. You are still the same. You never change. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for caring about me, God. I just concentrate on you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. On tonight, I praise you. On tonight, I magnify you, Lord, because you are good. Hallelujah. I just give you the highest praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you are good. You are good good. I lift you up, Lord, on tonight. I magnify you on tonight, God. I make you big, Lord. I magnify you above my circumstance. I magnify you above my situation because you are good. I keep my eyes on you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. You are first place in my life on tonight. God, I, I thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord, because you are good. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Let's just tell God how good he is. Lord, there is none like you, Lord. There is nobody, Lord, like you, Lord. I thank you for who you are in my life. Lord, I thank you that you love me, Lord, even when I didn't love myself, God. I thank you that you sent Jesus to die for me, Lord, even while I was yet a sinner. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. How good you are, Lord. Even though the situation may not be good, you are good. You are still good, Lord. Hallelujah. You are good, Lord. You are good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are good, Lord. Hallelujah. You are good. You are bigger than big, Lord. You are bigger than any situation. You are bigger than any circumstance, God. You are bigger than any financial problem, God. You are bigger than any money problem, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How were I? Oh, you are so good, Lord. I give you the highest praise. You deserve my praise, Lord. You deserve my worship. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Despite of what my situation may be, God, you are so good. My soul says hallelujah. My spirit says hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Because you are good. You are gooder than good. You are better than the best. You always love me, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for your safekeeping. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. Hallelujah. Yes, he is good. Yes, he is good. We just thank God on tonight. My name is Kasika Brown. I am so glad to have you on tonight. This is Real Talk with Kasika. 
Yes, so good. And tonight's episode is about gratitude. Now, the Bible said in everything, give thanks because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So we, I want to talk about gratitude. It doesn't matter what your situation you may be facing tonight. I know a lot of times we get caught up in our day-to-day -day life and our hustle and just going to work and we sometimes overlook the good things in our life. We just see the things that we're striving for. We see the things that we don't have in our life and we begin to get ungrateful. But on tonight, I want to remind you that God's grace and mercy, he gives it to us day by day and we cannot take his grace and mercy for granted because everything that we get comes from the Lord. So we must begin to see God in everything, no matter what that situation is. It doesn't matter if it's good. It doesn't matter if it feels good like the song just said it doesn't matter if it looks good or it doesn't matter if it is indifferent we don't understand it everything we must begin to give God thanks for it so we need to look and see God in every circumstance and situation thank you for joining Krista on tonight so we must begin to look and see God in everything it doesn't matter if we failed it doesn't matter if we're experiencing hard times and trials God is in it he said that he is working everything out for our good all things work together for our good for those that love God and for them that are called according to his purpose so that means that everything that happens in our life whether it is a good situation Situation, whether it's a bad situation, whether there were some mistakes or whether there's some failures, it's all working together for our good. So when we begin to see God in those things, we begin to magnify God and we begin to decrease our situation. When we keep our eyes on God, we are telling him that we trust him no matter what the situation or circumstance may feel. We begin to put him first place in our life and we put that situation down. And then God begins, when we begin to express our gratitude, what God does is he begins to expand us. He begins to open up. He begins to give us more things to be grateful for. Now, you may be out there tonight and you're saying, you know what, Kasika? There's so many things going bad in my life. Every time I take two steps forward, I feel like I'm going five steps back. There is nothing good in my life. There is nothing that I can be grateful for. But let me tell you something. There is always something to be grateful for, especially the things that were given to us at birth for free. The things that were given to us at birth for free cannot re be replaced. Our life cannot be replaced. Our health cannot be replaced. And I assure you, the thing that you are taking for granted, someone else is praying for what you have. Do you understand me? The thing that you may be taking for granted on tonight, someone else is praying to God for that very thing. Someone else is praying to God that they have health. Someone is praying to God to, to be healed. Someone is praying to God to be able to walk. Somebody is praying to God on tonight. They're sitting in the hospital room and they cannot breathe on their own. And they're praying to God, Lord, please let my lungs work. Lord, I know my lungs have been collapsed, but if you could send a miracle by here, Lord, and just heal my lungs, Lord, I want to be healed. I want to be able to breathe on my own. So on tonight, I want to tell you, there is always something to be grateful for. And there is something that you can begin to do to switch from an attitude of ingratitude, not being grateful, to an attitude of being grateful. And what are those things on tonight? The first thing you can begin to do is, like I said, see God in everything. God is in everything. When I look at my life, I see God in everything. I want to see I look, even if it's something that's bad, I say, God, I don't know, but I trust you. I trust that you are working this situation out. I don't understand it at this time, but I trust you. And I know that you are faithful. I know that you are true. I know that you have everything in your hand and you are working out everything for me. So the first thing that we want to do to move from a space of ingratitude to gratitude is to see God in everything. The second thing that we want to do is we want, as we begin to be grateful, we begin to open up ourselves to receive more. The way I like to see it is God is our father. And we, some of us out there, we're parents. So imagine if you had two children and you had one child that came to you every time you came home from work and said, Mommy, I'm so thankful for you. Thank you for providing this home for us. Thank you for going out every day to work and provide and to um, get food for us. Thank you for buying the clothes that you have for me. I thank you so much, mommy. I know you work very hard to provide for us. And then you had another child that all they do is complain and say, you know what, mom, my friend has everything. Why can't you buy this for me? I, 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 those shoes that you bought me, I really don't like them. I really don't appreciate them. I want to go to the amusement. I want to go to Disney World. When are we going to go to Disney World? And all that child did was complain. Now tell me, you being a, a human, 
how would you feel? Which child would you be more prone to? The child that is grateful to you, you would just want to give them more things just because they already are showing you so much gratitude. They're thankful for everything you do that you would want to give them more things to be thankful for. You automatically would give them more things. And then the child that's been complaining, you would, you would think that you, they're taking you for granted, that they don't love you and they don't see what you're doing for them to provide for them. So God is no different. He is our father and we are his children. And God wants to give us good gifts. But if we don't appreciate what we already have, then we are closing the door to receive anything more. Remember, gratitude or being thankful, it also means appreciate. Things that appreciate increase in value. So we want to be appreciative for the things that we already have in our life. The next thing is that we can do to move from a place of ingratitude in, into gratitude is if your life if right now, you know, there may be some things and you might be going through some trials and obstacles and you just can't see anything right now in this moment to be thankful for. Look back at your past testimonies. Look back at what God has done for you before. Give God thanks for those things and be reminded that if he did it, then he can do it again. Remember the children of Israel, they were caught in the wilderness. And God had done so much. He brought them out of Egypt. But while they were in the wilderness, they complained and they complained. And they forgot the miracle of God getting them out of Egypt, parting the Red Sea, and getting them into the wilderness. They only looked at the things that they did not have. And they forgot to give God thanks for the things that he has done. So sometimes you have to go back in your mind and remember what God has done for you. I know many of you, you all have testimonies out there. Because I sure do. And when I think back on what God God had done, has done for me and how he has done it miraculously. I had never known at that moment how God would have worked out that situation. And he worked it out so seamlessly that I know that it had been God that had worked out that situation. So I began to give God praise for my past miracles. I mean, I began to lose my mind in the things that God has, yes, in the things that God has done for me before. And I keep that in my mind that just as you did this, Lord, I know you would do it for me again because you are the same same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen? Yes. So the next thing we want to do is as we're moving into our, from ingratitude into gratitude is we want to uh, know that God is good. God is good and he is just worthy to be praised just for who he is. Is he not? Yes, he is. God is good. He is awesome. Without him, we would not have everlasting life. We would not have eternal life through his gift of love. God loved us even before we were sinners, when we didn't even know we were sinners, that he sent his only son for us. So when we think about that, we can begin to rejoice and be grateful and we can be thankful Yes, God did it in the past. He definitely will do it again. So we can begin to give God praise because we knew we were heading to a place of death. We know we we knew we were sinners and we would be sent to somewhere a place of death. So because of that, we can give God praise and we can give God glory. And we know if he never did anything else for us, that we know that he is worthy of all the praise and all the glory because he has already done a lot for us just in the person of who he is, just in his faithfulness, just in his, just thinking about us, caring for us every moment of the day. God loves you. So on that alone, you can give him thanks and give him praise for the love that he has for you. You are on his mind. He formed you in his mother's womb. That alone is enough to give God glory and give God praise. It just makes me happy thinking about it right now. I get excited when I talk about God because I know it's no word to even describe how good he is. It's no word to describe how, how what he's meant to me. And when you get to know him, and you get to experience him. You, you decide in your mind that you're going to never turn your back. You are sold out. You become sold out unto him. So we just can give him thanks just for the person of who he, not person. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to minimize God. But we can begin to give God thanks and praise just because who he is. And another thing, the last thing I wanted to mention is when we move from a place of ingratitude into gratitude, we can miss our destiny. 
we can miss our promised land. Again, back to the children of Egypt, I mean Israel. When they, le- when, when they were in the wilderness, the, the children that left Egypt are not the children that made it into the promised land. And we don't want to destroy our destiny. We don't want to destroy the people that are around us. We don't want to destroy what God is doing in our lives. So we want to be conscious and cognizant of what he's done. Yes, Dave, yes, God said, deliver the lion and the bear into my hand so he will deliver you. Amen. He will deliver you from the lion and from the bear in your situation. So, that, so yes, yeah, so we want to make sure that we um, don't destroy our destiny from being complaining and also uh, murmuring for the place that we are because we are, we are moving into our promised land. We don't want to destroy our destiny. And the people that left Egypt are not the ones that made it into our promised land. So we want to make sure that we are consciously aware. That's another thing. We must be consciously aware because we can go through life asleep and we miss exactly what God is doing in our lives. God has a big future and he has a big promise for each and every one of us. But we have to remember that. We have to remind ourselves and be aware of exactly what he is doing. It is so easy to just go through the motions of life and not realize what is happening. And then all of a sudden, one day you wake up and many, many years have passed by and you miss your life purpose. That is not why you are here. Each and every one of you have a special calling. You have a special reason that you were sent here on this earth. A God-given purpose that was given to you even before you were born, even before the foundation of earth, of the earth. And when we go into ingratitude, complaining and murmuring, we destroy that destiny that was designed especially for us. So those of you who are out there that may have felt that you have nothing to be grateful for, I hope you see now that there are plenty of things and there are plenty of reasons that you can be grateful in your life. To move from a space of just being ungrateful into a space of being grateful. God has done it once before and he will definitely do it again for you. It is no, you are no stranger to what the things that God can and will do for you in your life. So also I wanted to make sure that you all please sign up and join the World Changers uh, Sister Tribe on Facebook. Please join our group. It is W uh, bit.ly forward slash join sister tribe now is going to be bit.ly join sister tribe now and also there is going to be a retreat going on in Tennessee this year it's on August 24th to 27th it's called master your millions with God retreat this is going to be by um, Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock she is the leader of the world changer sister tribe group she's a phenomenal woman and she is going to be leading this particular retreat called master your millions with God Retreat. You can find it at www.masteryourmillions.com. Again, that's www.masteryourmillions.com. I'm so glad that you guys decided to join us. I think we have another praise break session going on tonight. So um, I hope as we're closing off that you would begin to join us and give God praise. Thank you for joining. God is so good, right? Let's sing praises to him. He is worthy. Thank you for the heart. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. From every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship. Lord, you are good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Yes, Lord, we thank you for who you are. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are so good. You 
you guys joined us on tonight. I just I want to make sure you take away on tonight to see God in everything. If you didn't hear anything I said, see God in everything. Make it your business to see God in everything. When you see him in everything, you will live a stress-free life. You will just live a life dependent on him. And that's what he wants for us. When we depend on him fully, God will just take control. He wants to take control of our life. And you will see how your life becomes just a miracle and a testimony. The best thing I ever did was to see God in everything. And my, I'm telling you, I don't stress anymore. I just live a life just happy and full of gratefulness. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm not saying I don't face situations but the situations don't bother me because I trust God and when I trust the all-knowing all-powerful God I can just live a life a free life a, a peaceful life 
God wants us to be peace. Remember, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The peace of God that passes all understanding is what God wants to give us. So see God in everything as you go on tonight. I thank you so much for joining us again. My name is Kasika Brown. This is Real Talk with Kasika, where real people with re real problems can find a real solution. I'll, I'll see you again on Monday at 8 p.m. Central. Thank you. Have a good night.